You are the last hope of the gentle people of Gradius. You just lifted off to confront the all-out attack of the amoeboid bacterians. Your hyperspace fighter is armed with the greatest arsenal in the galaxy. Air to surface and double beam laser cannons for incredible firepower. Powerful force fields for protection. Time and space warps for fleeing the dimension. You'll need it all just to survive. Because at the heart of the Bacterian Empire lies the Xeris Super Fortress. The nerve center of the all-knowing, all-seeing Bacterian Biocomputer. It's a duel to the death, while the entire galaxy watches, waits, and hopes. In Gradius, the first Gradius from Konami, released to our welcoming, welcoming eyes in 1986. First introduced, however, in 1985, um, is an arcade. We, it uh, began the series of scrolling shooter video games published by Konami for a variety of portable console and arcade platforms. In many games in the series, you take control of a ship known as the Vic Viper. In other games, the ship, ships the player gets to control include the Lord British Space Destroyer, Metal Lion, the Sable Tiger, Thrashin, Thrasher, excuse me, Vixen, Alpina, Super Cobra, Jade Knight, and the Falcon Beta. Gradius, originally released as an arcade game and later ported to other platforms, it is known to exist on the ZX Spectrum, the Commodore 64, the NES Famicom, the MSX, the PC Engine, the Sega Saturn, the PlayStation, the Sharp X68000, certain mobile phones, and computers. Saturn, PlayStation, and computer versions are all packed with Gradius 2, known as the Gradius Deluxe Pack, as well as a re-release of the NES version on the Virtual Console. The PC Engine version was also released on the PlayStation Network. In some territories, Gradius re was released under the name Nemesis. The game... Kind of... There's... There's an unofficial... I guess you could say... Order to these games. Uh, the first one being Scramble. Um, which a lot of the elements from Gradius were inspired by, although there's no canonical relationship between the games. It's often implied to be the spiritual predecessor to the series, evidently by its appearance in flashbacks during the Gradius introduction sequences. Um, you know, that was 1981. From Gradius, Salamander, or Life Force, was released afterwards. Set in the same universe, more prominently, the game switches uh, some of the differences, excuse me, and noteworthiness, switching between horizontal and vertical stages, one of the first games of its kind. Also, Salamander was one of the first shoot 'em ups to include co-op gameplay. The first, uh, the first player ship in Gradius is Vic Viper, while the second ship is Lord British, sometimes called the Road British. Yes. Unlike Gradius, Salamander uses more conventional weapons. Um, the NES version of Salamander, called Life Force, uh, was marketed in North America as a sequel to the first Gradius game. Uh, we had Gradius 2, which was released in 1987. Um, I don't think it ever got an NES release, though. Looks like we had the MSX version. Uh, instead of controlling Vic Viper, the available ship is called Metal Lion, codename N322. Like the NMSX version of Salamander, the game has a storyline which is told by cutscenes. Gameplay is mostly unchanged. The version was ported to the Sharp X68000 computer under the name Nemesis 90 Kai, with a number of graphical and oral enhancements. It appeared on the Jap Japan exclusive PSP Salamander Portable Collection. We had Gradius 2, Gopher's Ambition, which bears no relation to the MS MSX game, uh, Gradius 2. Gradius 2, with Roman numerals, is a sequel to Gradius in terms of chronology. It was never released in North America in any form until recently with the PSP uh, Gradius collection, known as Vulcan Venture in Europe. The fourth game of this is Pathacity Pathacity. The fourth game of the series to be released to the MSX platform in 1988 was Gopher no Yabo, Episode 2. We had Gradius 3, From Myth to Legend. This title introduced the weapon edit method of selecting, which allowed us to create our own weapon array. 
Um, the Super Nintendo version is not a very accurate port. According to this, levels and enemies and weapons were altered. For example, two entire stages were cut out of the Super NES version. A 3D stage, which involved avoiding hitting cave walls from a unique first-person perspective behind the Vic Viper. And a crystal stage, in which the Vic Viper was challenged by crystal blocks, blocking off areas like a maze. Also, the order of the stages were changed. The final stage in the SNES version was based on an early stage in the arcade version. The arcade's original ending had the main boss in a mechanical setting, then going through a speed-up zone to escape the base. The SNES version, however, had the player simply avoiding the final enemy's simple and slow-moving attack patterns with no challenge afterward. However, the SNES version introduced the rotate and formation options. Both were used in Gradius, reused in Gradius 5. The difficulty and major boss tactics were toned down to make it easier. The original arcade version is available for the PS2 bundled with Gradius 4. Although that port is different as well. We had Nemesis, released in 1990, which was the first Gradius portable. We had Gradius the Interstellar Assault in 91, Salamander 2 in 96, Gradius Gaiden in 97, Solar Assault in 97, Gradius 4 Resurrection in 99, Gradius Advance in 2000, uh, 2001, Gradius 4 in 2004, Gradius Neo in 2004, the Gradius Collection in 2006, Gradius Rebirth in 2008, and Gradius Arc 2010, and Gradius The Slot, which is a cheesy slot game released in 2011. We also had the Parodius series spin-offs, which were released uh, starting in 1988 and have gone all the way up to 2010. And then there was Otomedius, which was a newer take uh, on the Gradius spoof. Game features anime girl representations. Yes. Um, it's Gradius. It's a shooter. It's very, very good. It's very well designed, very well built. Solid. Good graphics, good music, good controls. Good challenge. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> 